the night. Hey, it's that time of season. Apple cider. That's less, uh, what's it? Potassium. Oh, a lot of potassium. A lot of calories, whatever it is that. Whatever it is. Potassium, 7%. Hey, where's the carbs? I guess I ain't got no carbs or sugar, too. I don't know. Oh, 9%. percent That is not bad. Apple cider. I think apple juice has more. There's more carbs in it. I gotta take my morning medicine. I gotta hit my blood pressure pill. I'm gonna need this. I need my blood pressure pills. Man, let me tell you. I need... Man, I had a, a day yesterday. Let me take my blood pressure pills. Fat. I'm in a dark mood, man. Let me take my thing off. Yeah, this might be a little long because I'm a off. Hey, off. It's good. Stay off. <laughs> I'm in a dark mood. I need my blood pressure pills. Man, I, I came down on the bus, you know, Monday night. Came up on a bus Monday night. This is what? Oh, it's the vitamin D. A thousand? I need like my, my sister says I need 5,000. I gotta take like a bunch of these states. I get my 5,000 pills. They're expensive. Oh, for me, they're expensive. They get all this on the VA. So I take five a day, six a day. I pop them. Because it's thousands of sissy stuff, sissy ass stuff, as Corey Hogan would say, which reminds me. But let me go back. So, listening to Vet coming on the bus, you know, because, you know, <laughs> Reaper Lucas, whatever it is, coming up from Virginia. So, she's getting me in the mood. Then I get that, then I get here, I got to deal with WBAI, you know, the, the Pacifica faction, you know, usurpers, uh, culprits, taking over WBAI. So, we had a press conference, you know. So, as soon as I get in, I got to go right up for this press conference. In the morning, it steps to City Hall. <laughs> then I went to a trader. Should I put the chlorophyll in? No, no, no. I'll wait for later for this. Later for the chlorophyll. Because tonight we got a, um, a New York um, ADOS, you know, NYC ADOS. Tonight going to that. Thing. Well, I'm going to put on some kind of. Oh, man, where's my. Uh... Go in here with this other stuff. Where it is. Well, you can slide on my glasses. Look. And so, you know, so I, I, I take the bus. I go to Trudy Hills and I take the, the bus up. And, uh, you know, then, then as soon as I get here, because I got to go to this other thing that's that's, that's, that's supposed to take place. So this, this is a program I went to. Uh, the Center for Constitutional Rights, the Race Forward presents, and the Ra and Race Forward, it's called Race Forward, presents Towards Reparations, an Evening of Repair and Historical Justice. I should have known an Evening of Repair and Historical Justice. For who? Towards Reparations. This is Race Forward and the Center for Constitutional Rights put this thing. In Brooklyn, so I gotta go walk. I gotta go back to Brooklyn. Well, not back to Brooklyn, I gotta go to Brooklyn. So I wore this. I wore my goon cap. This is black, green on one side, with a dash of red. I don't know. I have my liber uh, no liberation without reparations button on. Let me take this one off. I got to, oh, I got this one. I was at the, the ADLS conference. What else did I have on? So let me change that. No, I got I'm in a mood. It's kind of real. Oh. <laughs> Is that red what Frederick Douglass said? So I'm gonna put some Frederick Douglass on this one. And since I got my Manglisa Robert Sabukwe t shirt on, I better turn this over to green. Because I'm I'm my grandmother's grandchild. You know, I remember that that line that goes through the, the Gullah Islands, you know, the Geeshies. And uh on one side on the on the on her daddy and the Mohawk Indians on the on the mama side, on the uh, yeah, the mama side. That's my descendants. Can I'm true? I'm, I'm true black American because my daddy was a one night stand with my mama. So there you go. And to put it all together, let's to put in the foster care. A whole bunch of stuff happened with that. Yeah, I put my green side on because my grandma would tell me to be color coordinated. So there you go. 
So I'm weird today about Frederick Douglass. See what Frederick Douglass right there? Because I'm in a mood today. Oh, man. I'm in some kind of way today. Oh, then I, then last night, so I get in, I was tired. I was supposed to call this here because one of the things I'm doing, one of the reasons I think, well, one of the things I'm doing is that we're supposed to have this uh, reparations, you know, radio program, like hopefully two hours, whatever it is, on uh, November the 14th. Yeah, it's the 14th Thursday on Basir's program, you know, uh, education at the crossroads. And so, you know, so I gathered a lot of sound. Well, I got a lot of interviews. And I put up on my interview channel, my interview playlist on this, on this channel. By the way, and one of the comments I get, <laughs> so, so, you're babbling. She spelled babbling wrong. I'm going to say, I'm going to like, look. If you're listening to if you listen to me on my, on on the ADOS thing or, or or some other thing that is not if, if I'm on your screen I babble that's the reason it's a style thing but the reason it is is this is that this channel was first uh, brought about is because I wanted to chronicle things that happened in my life and I babble and that's what I do and then for, I'll, I'll tell you that later so so that's what I do so this part of, if you want some straight stuff there's an interview you need to go to the interview playlist. It's a it's from for the whole from from 2014 on interviews I've had all kinds of interviews different kinds of people different kinds of circumstances and that's when I'm actually an interviewer when I'm an interviewer I'm a different person <laughs> I actually listen here I babble <laughs> why because what you're supposed to do is take the gems out if you ain't got time for this then don't go to buy this is not for you anyway <laughs> I use YouTube as an archival purposes only okay back to the point so then so oh no. Now, you have to know, there's a few channels that I listen to, how should I say, religiously. You know, Max Kaiser being one, you know, Kaiser Report. Uh, of course, you know, Red and Tone. Um, uh, oh, Nearly Fuller Jr. And uh, there's, there's more, but 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 those are those are the main ones. Yeah, those are the main ones. And the main, main, the main is main, the main, main. You know, sometimes I listen to Tariq just for entertainment purposes only for me. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. I don't mean, Tariq, don't come after me. Yo, it's not that. It's just that I, I like it, but, but it doesn't matter. 5150, Corey Holcomb. Yes. Yeah, I love Corey because he's with the peoples. This is the problem that we that I'm having now. All these intellectual people, all these people, they blah, 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 do nothing, nothing, nothing. They write, they, they write books, they, they talk to other people in their strata, you know what I mean? It's pissing me off, okay? <laughs> so Corey got me a mood. Then I went to sleep. So I wake up, and I'm in this mood. I'm still in this mood, right? Why? Because I'm still thinking about these fine folks here to put this thing on. Now, here's what I, here's, you know... I named these. I named these uh, things. I think this this thing is good because uh, Yvette talked about you know people uh, shoehorning themselves into our, our circumstance, right? Well, my thing is basically uh, see in in Africa where well, I live in Africa. Uh, well, six months out of the year, and I'm spending six months here now, and it's like uh, the, the one of the worst things you can call somebody is a snake, like a snake in the grass. You know, we had to say black. You know, black. My, my grandma used to say snake in the grass. And what do snakes do? They slither. Or like uh, like Craig Fax talked about uh, the snakes talk, talk about, you know, it's amazing they have no arms or legs. They smother people and they swallow them. Yep, yep. Anyway, they, they're, they're, they're diabolical, right? They slither. <laughs> they slither to get to you. And they sh then they go around you and they choke you. They smother you. They Whatever they do to you, they will swallow you whole. Okay? So here I am. I'm trying to get sound for this thing. I mean, I'm trying to figure these people who talk about reparations. They never, ever, they never, they keep on mentioning black people. They never talk about, as, as, as Tariq would say, you know, foundation, foundational black folks. They don't talk about ADOS. They don't talk about black people. And that's a hint right away. On this panel, let me get rid of the, the, the obvious one. Let me, what's that thing? Oh, what the hell did I just do with that thing? On this panel, thing I just threw down some free. Oh, see, I'm losing my mind here. On this panel, they had this white woman, right? Right? And she's going along all right. She gets the facts, you know, because she's, she's an academic. She do work, that, 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 that. And then, when she, 
if you get the question and answer period or some of it, she starts throwing in things like, you know, um, oh, you know, America, uh, uh, first, uh, um, the first sin was not slavery. True enough. You know, it, it's, you know, the genocide of American Indians. Okay. True enough. But how'd that come up? Well, where did that come from? Like they need reparations? I guess somebody must have answered in the audience something about, the, I, don't, I don't know how it came up. So she slips that in there. Then she said, <sighs> The other folks, you know what I mean? This other one here, uh, Monifa, you know what I mean? I interviewed her at the end because this one could sound like I thought she was good. You know, she brought her Queen Mother more. Great. Do you know what I mean? And she's sliding there. Again, don't mention no name. And talks about, if you get these key phrases, these key phrases, um, uh, Frederick Douglass, right? Uh, Shirley Chisholm, right? Um, uh, it's a wedge between the movement, right? Uh those are key. Those are what they call, you know, talking points. When you hear that, cut that person off. Don't even do, do, walk away. Walk, uh, walk away. <laughs> are, I'm even gonna say her point is. Listen to the program on the 14th because I'm gonna play that. I got to play that. But one of the things she also said, you know, says like, well, my father-in-law is Jamaican. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why are you bringing your father-in-law? What, what's, what's that got, got anything to do with it? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? It's like, well, you didn't say your husband. You said your father-in-law. Whoa, that means that was key to me. So they got another agenda, right? They're all trying to slither in on the American descendants of chattel slavery. And here's the, I think here's the thing, because they're writing all these books. In fact, this woman here, this, 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 I'm not even going to say her name, this Catherine woman, right? She, she started talking about uh, you know, there's this, uh, she, her book, they're going to use it as a study guide. There's, there's some, some schools that's going to use it. She's going to write these other things. Somebody asked her for the audience, where does prophets go to? And she said, well, the prophets tonight are going to go to a central constitution of rights. Didn't answer that. Where, gonna, where the other prophets are going to go? And then the press is made by, look, I don't want to babble on her. Let me leave her alone. The point is, she wedged herself in, into the thing, right? Again, and lesbian white woman. <laughs> I said it. And I meant it, and she is it, right? So you got that kind. Of, you got you got the, the, the people that, that identify mostly with immigrants. You know, what I mean? the man she brought up is is a, not even her husband, her father-in-law, right? Then you got the moderator. I'm not going to get into that. But then the yeah the, the, the <sighs> white woman moderator. What's she doing? Uh, she, well, she's trained by so and so. You know this. You know like the first black this and that that that. that. Then she does. Now remember. I'm in a lot of worlds, right? I'm in the academia world sometimes. I'm in, the, in South Africa. I, I got introduced to the um, to that world of the of the NGO world. You know, they talk a certain way. Or, oh, I'm hearing this woman do it. And all these, uh, I'm going like, I'm really getting pissed, right? I'm sitting there getting pissed. Then the first question from some guy gets up there. He, you know, he, he told he was in the Rwanda. He was at, in, in South Africa doing a part of Rwanda, you know, doing that, that that kind of thing. He just babbling, blabbing, 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 blabbing. Talk about babbling. He was babbling. You know what I mean? Not gonna, I'm going like, they just letting him babble. What kind of moderator lets somebody keep on babble? And not even on topic. I don't know what he boy we're talking about. Anyway, so this guy, so this one, he, he brings up, again, every, stop, stop bringing up the truth and reconciliation committee from... From from a uh, commission from South Africa, just stop it! Don't do no. We are not the same thing. We are never going to be the same thing. Plus, that commission got stopped. Why? My theory. <laughs> T from the past of things trench to bets theory is that they couldn't take it. The commission was made up of all these hoity-toity people. You know, the bishop Tutu crying in his ring. All these hoity-toity people, and they were taking they were take, taking testimony from real people, and they couldn't take it. And Zenzile. He was, he was an investigator for that. He wrote a book on it. Gotta find that book. I think it's in South Africa. The point is, they couldn't take it. We can't have no reconciliation. What for? We know what the atrocities were. We don't need no, no nothing like that. For, so, for, so white people can keep crying, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, this is what about. Oh, please, you know. Glenn Harris, I don't know what he was talking about. Anyway, so, the, but they have, they, these guys put out a toolkit. M4BL. Policy, M4BL.org, put out a, they call it a toolkit. Uh, one thing I learned about toolkits in South Africa with NGOs they do, you gotta have a lot of pictures. You gotta have a lot of pictures. No, man. They put out the cool tool. So they'll be doing this. So, anyway, 
I'm babbling because that's what I do. Let me put my thing back on. Because I'm really, I'm really upset. You know, it's this thing. My only saving grace is that tonight, uh, tonight I'm going to go to the, uh, oh, somebody was talking at the end and I gave him my card. They said they was giving him a card. Hey, get back up there. What's the matter with you? They didn't give out a card. This you always they got a card. card. I ain't got no card, <laughs> but now I do have a card. Adus.nyc. That's going to be my card. Going to be my card. Yeah. Wadus.nyc. So they have a meeting tonight. We have a meetup. So it's going to be my my anchor group while I'm in this when I'm in the states. So I gave out this card to this guy that this lawyer that want it was dividing the panel. Oh, he's got such a great panel. I got to talk to some lawyers, blah blah blah. And I want to invite y'all. Yeah, we're gonna talk. So what happened? They put these panels where people come. And they invite them to other things. So their stuff spreads. Their stuff spreads through toolkits and all the rest of the stuff. But we are online, so that's the way it happens, you know. And and I'm sure we have stuff coming out. But I I instead of let me put, put, say it this way, if you're going to do something. Instead of these things that the masses ain't gonna be doing, what you do, you put a, we're gonna we should do zines, you know, like like the the legal thing, one page that you could fold into three, at the most one piece of paper. That's what we should do on all kinds of things. Keep on passing them out zines. It's like it, it's like you pass out cards, pass out zines. That's what I feel. Let me get out of here. I got stuff to do today, including going back to sleep. All right, because I'm I'm I'm. Um, T from the Patterson Secondary Train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect. 48 D O S. That would be the American descendants of chattel slavery. <laughs>